Well, the average sale price was down $184,000 year over year. It was actually the highest it's been in 11 months. Wait, what? Hey, I'm Darcy Toombs, broker and team leader with Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker of the Real Estate Center. And here's the top five things you need to know about what happened in the real estate market last month. All right, inventory at the end of March was actually the lowest we've seen for a March, dating back 12 plus years. With only 92 active listings at the end of the month, it's no surprise that we lead into our second point, number two. The average sale price at the end of the month was $1.2 million for all housing types. And this was the highest average sale price that we've seen dating back to April, 2022. It is interesting to note that it is down 184,000 year over year, which indicates that the market did react very quickly to the changing economic times last spring. All right, number three, pricing games were back in full force with 69 of the 119 sales reported being at or above the asking price in March. Now, this is a fairly common tactic when inventory is tight, much to the frustration of many buyers. Now, this happens when properties get listed extremely low, like 10 to 20% below the expected market rate. This will generate a lot of showings and hopefully a plethora of offers on an offer date. Now, vast majority of these will be well below the seller's expectations and stand no chance of ever being accepted. And there's also been several examples of homes receiving eight to 10 offers on their offer date and not selling because they simply didn't receive an offer that was considered good enough for the seller to accept. And that, of course, is the most frustrating scenario of all to the buyers, to the realtors, who took the time to show the property, prepare the offer, get excited about potentially owning the home, only to find out they were two to $300,000 below what the seller expected to sell the home for. We are advocates of pricing a home right. We want to make sure people coming through the door for showing are qualified and able to purchase that home. Right, number four, there's been a lot less action in the condo market. With only six sales in the condo market, including condo apartment and condo townhomes, for the whole month, we were really surprised to see at how few homes in that segment sold last month. At the end of the month, there were 24 active listings, which indicate that there would be a month of inventory in the condo market of four months. That's a really long time when you consider that new market as a whole is at 0.77. Now for contrast, in March of 2022, there was 15 sales, so significantly more than we saw this past March. Now this is gonna be a really interesting segment for us to watch as we are expecting a lot more resale units as well as assignment of new condo units coming to the market in the coming months. All right, number five, new market is the hottest real estate market in all of York region. With the months of inventory being at 0.77, it's the lowest it's been since February, 2022. New market is turning over inventory at the fastest rate out of all York region municipalities, with Aurora being in second place at 0.94. Now this is not exactly a new trend as new market has a very diverse housing stock offering buyers a diverse selection of housing types and price points. And the local amenities make this a really great place to live. Now, don't forget to check out the breakdown in our Around the Region section of our newsletter, The Market, which goes into detail as to which areas are hot and which ones are a little more stagnant and why. All right, so what does this all mean? It means we're still in a seller's market. Inventory is really low and the market really is dependent right now on what is for sale rather than what has sold. Now this could change if we see a dramatic increase in the number of active listings, but the fact of the matter is that buyers are gobbling up inventory as quickly as it comes out. So it does lead us to believe it could be a while before we see ourselves into more of a balanced market. Now I do believe we will see the average sale price come down slightly from March in the month of April, but really not by much. Based on conversations we're having with clients right now, there is a growing number of homeowners that are thinking about the prospects of listing their home before purchasing. And if that trend continues, we could see inventory start to slowly increase. If you're a data nerd like me and like to geek out on market stats, make sure you check out our most recent report, The Market, which goes into detail on all the local trends and market segments, everything new market real estate. To get a copy of the report, click the link below. And if you're a homeowner and you'd like to get an honest and realistic idea of what your home is worth in today's market, we would love to meet with you to give you a complimentary evaluation of your home. Go to tombs.team value for more information. Our goal is to provide valuable information to the community to make sure they feel really connected with what's going on in the local area. Thanks for watching. And if you like our videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel.